Hey, this is Jessica Bell, MPP for University of Rosedale, speaking to you from Queen's Park. Congratulations to you and your family and your teachers for reaching such an important milestone. I am so proud of you for making it in, quite frankly, what is the hardest year I have ever seen in my lifetime. With lockdowns and masks and online everything, with the challenges to democracy and the rule of law in the United States, to the fundamental threat of climate change, it's been a really hard year and we're making it through. There's a vaccine on the horizon. One day we'll be able to travel again, hang out with our friends inside and all that. And you, you get to start the next chapter of your lives, living as adults, pursuing your dreams. I have a request. My hope is that you can be part of that generation that our world needs to lead and to give back to work to make things better, to change the rules, to help people and the environment. You're the people that vote, that work to make university affordable and free, to make housing affordable, that stands up to racism, you, and that takes real action on climate change. If we can get through this pandemic, then I know we can do a lot. And we need you, you to get politically involved and join us. Have a great evening and congratulations so much on graduating. Hello, my name is Mike Gallagher. I'm the superintendent for Central Technical School. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to spend a few moments talking to you and to celebrate you, the graduates of Central Technical School 2020. I wanna take a moment to acknowledge that these past several months have been extremely difficult and it's been quite a race to the finish line for all of us and for you. And I wanna acknowledge also the hard work and dedication that many people have put in, particularly you, to get you to this graduation. It's a special moment. I also wanna say that it's not lost on any of those who supported you that your educational journey began quite some time ago. And so along the way, I wanna thank many, many people who helped you get to this momentous day. I'd like to take a particular moment to thank all of the staff and support staff and administration staff at Central Technical School. My particular thanks go to Ms. Edwards, Mr. Cho, Ms. Uberoy, and Mr. Lee, who've been there to help you, to guide you, and to lead the incredible staff at Central Tech. At these times, it's important that we reflect upon all of the work and all of the support we've been given over the past many years. And so I always ask our graduates to take a moment to thank their family members and friends who've helped them get to this very important day. On behalf of the senior staff and the director of education for the Toronto District School Board, I want to say congratulations to the class of 2020 at Central Technical School. Enjoy. Dear Central Tech graduates, congratulations, class of 2020. You are now graduates of the Toronto District School Board. While official in-person ceremonies had to be delayed to ensure the health and safety of our school communities, that does not mean we are any less proud of you and all your accomplishments. I want to share a few words of encouragement as you go off and find your way through the messy world around us. Today, your public school journey is complete, but make sure your education journey never ends. Whether it's post-secondary education or partnerships, classes or simply reading and listening, know that we can always benefit by learning and growing. Dare to dream, but dare to fail. Be bold and sure courage. Learn from everything and everyone. Be curious and have fun and remember to surround yourself with people you love and trust. People you want to learn from and learn with. Nelson Mandela once said, sometimes it falls upon a great generation to be great. You can be that great generation. 
Let your greatness blossom. The future is yours to discover and yours to change. But so is today. You are the generation leading the next wave of innovation and progressive social change. Never forget to stand up and advocate for those who need help. Fighting against hate, homophobia, racism, and violence. Don't just think about how you want to make the world a better place. Get engaged and ask why, ask who, what and where. If you keep asking the difficult questions and wanting to learn, if you keep working hard, I promise there is no telling what amazing things you can accomplish. Have high expectations for yourselves. In closing, I want to wish you good luck and success in everything that you do. Graduates, whatever you decide, go forth into the world and do great things. Wishing you the very best in the days and months and years to come. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. It's a fantastic day. My name is Christine Ecclestone McCurry, and I too, like you, am a graduate of the school. I'm also the president of the Alumni Association. And we, the alumni, are so incredibly proud of all of you. You've made it through the school years. You've gone on to doing secondary education, colleges, university, working, or going and helping in a family business, whatever it is, you've taken all the knowledge and the support and the love that the school has given you and brought it through to your second stage. And this is wonderful news. We are so very, very proud of you. The alumni is a great big family. You'll find that you'll see Central Tech graduates everywhere you go. I certainly do in my business. And I'm telling you, we are here for you. If you need anything, please reach out to us. Our website is ctsalumni.ca. You can leave a message there. You can join the Alumni Association, even though you are really an alumni but join on the website, it's a lot of fun. We have reunions, we have specials, we have all sorts of fun things that we do, and it's a great time, but please keep in touch. And if you've had great times at the school, join the Facebook page, we're all over it. We just need to have more people come and love it as much as we do. So again, from the Alumni Associations, congratulations and fantastic day today, and we're so proud of you. Hello graduates, welcome home. This year I would like to thank our special guests for sending their warm wishes to our graduates. I would also like to thank all of our contributors for our scholarships and special awards. I would like to welcome Ms. Christine McMurray, the co-president of the CTS alumni, and to thank the alumni for all their support. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the staff and students who made this event possible. Thank you to my vice principals, Ms. Michelle Robinson, Mr. Albert Cho, and Ms. Tina Kahn for all their time working together to bring this celebration together. I must also thank Mr. Addy Pereira, our office administrator, for coordinating so much of this event. This ceremony would not have happened without the dedication and hard work of so many. Hello parents, family and friends. Thank you for joining us. Today marks the culmination of many years of determination and hard work. Thanks to you and your support, we are here to celebrate our graduates with the ending of one chapter and the beginning of another. Today, we celebrate their achievement. The road to today was not always easy for some. There have been challenges and they have persevered. Sometimes they've persevered with a little help from family, peers, and staff. Sometimes it was just a little kindness that has made the difference. I would like to thank the Central Tech staff who have worked many hours to bring our graduates to this day. 
At times, the students may have felt that the journey was long, and as they got closer to the finish line, it did not seem long enough. Our staff has engaged students to think inside and outside of the box and beyond the four walls of the classroom. They have prepared them for real life. They have taught our graduates the value of relationships and given them time to explore these values, their lessons, and love. They have given them a strong educational base in which to grow from. This year, especially, the lessons they have learned during COVID-19 will take them far. Your teachers have taught you the five W's and here are five W's of life from an unknown author. Who you are is what makes you special. Don't change for anyone. What lies ahead will be a mystery. Don't be afraid to explore. When life pushes you over, you push back harder. Where there are choices to make, make the one you won't regret. And why things happen will never be certain. Take it in stride and move forward. And finally, to the class of 2020, you are a special class. You are the students that I met here when you were in grade nine. This is your day. You have spent many occasions in this school and you have started your journey here in grade nine. You have built a great support system with your classmates, your friends, and your Central Tech family. You may have known each other for your entire four years at Central Tech or just a semester or two, but this will likely be the last time you all come together in one place. You are all connected by the experiences you have shared while at Central Tech. You have shared these as a class and now you have the opportunity to share them with the world. Though the future is unknown, the friends and the memories you have made at Central Tech are forever. This year was like no other. Your final year was interrupted by COVID-19. I would like to remind you that you went through one of the most difficult times in history. The lessons you learned and the lessons you taught us through this time are unprecedented. You are able to adapt, to overcome, to persevere. You learn to be flexible and to change your learning platform with little notice. Your communication skills improved and you are a learner as never before. Hold your heads up high as you realize that you have worked through one of the most difficult periods that you may experience in your lifetime. As I remember the class of 2020, I see some of our future leaders in the arts, technology, academia, and industry. How do I know? Because I've seen you lead for the past four years. So as you entered in grade nine, I gave you a quote for one of my favorite authors. So tonight as you graduate, I would like to leave you with a final quote from Dr. Seuss again. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations, graduates, class of 2020. Good evening, fellow graduates, parents, teachers, administration, and special guests. My name is Thomas Nyo. It is an honor to represent the class of 2020. On behalf of the graduating class, I'd like to thank all the people in the room who helped us achieve this goal we are celebrating tonight. Teachers, parents, guidance counselors, coaches, mentors, thank you. We could not have done this without you. I'll begin today by addressing the elephant in the room, graduating during a global pandemic. It's not easy. For all of us, 2020 has not been the final year that we were hoping for. Canceled celebrations, online classes, staying home, and streaming eight hours of Netflix a day is not what we expected as we move into this final chapter of our high school lives. Especially when we take into the account the other challenges we have faced and continue to face, like the government cutting funds for our education, thanks Doug, climate change, and systemic racism. 
Yet I find strength and comfort in knowing that no matter what the world is going through, we, the class of 2020, have learned to focus on and to fight for what is right. I'm sure we can all still remember our first days at Central Tech. Fresh faces all around us, the embarrassing moments, the boiling classrooms, and getting lost on the way to every class, and a nervous atmosphere that filled each room when we walked in for the first time. For some of us, it was the first day of school in a completely new city, province, and country. I know that for me, it was a lot to take in and adjust to. When I first came to CTS, I only knew one person, Reese. I sat outside my fourth period class for lunch because I was really shy. Despite that, when we settled down in our classrooms, we came to learn that our teachers were not just here to teach us, but to help us by being our counselors, mentors, friends, and coaches. They taught us how to work together, because as Mr. Roman would always say, there is no F in team. Our teachers encouraged us to take pride in our work and try to make learning enjoyable, like the math meme bonus assignment Ms. DeBlois created. Through our own perseverance and the support of the amazing staff at CTS, we were, we were able to become more than just average high school students. We can proudly say that our class, the class of 2020, has highly skilled builders, plumbers, electricians, mechanics, welders, hairstylists, chefs, engineers, architects, network specialists, and anything else you can think of. Without the massive selections of programs and extracurriculars available at CTS, a graduating class with such a wide variety of skills would not have been possible. For myself and many others, the wide variety of programs offered here is why we chose CTS. Where else in Toronto can you stand in front of a judge, take a ceramics course, operate stage lights, and cook for an audience all in the same day? And let's not forget the large variety of sports teams that you can join, like football, soccer, rugby, track and field, hockey, basketball, volleyball, swimming, water polo, and badminton. And what a better place to host these events than Central Tech, where we have a world-class dome and field, swimming pool, weight room, and three gyms. As a CTS stage crew member, I got to see some amazing performances and shows that would have not been possible without the teamwork and enthusiasm from the class of 2020. For assemblies like the Black History Month, Terry Fox, Remembrance Day, Festivus, I have seen the devotion and hard work put in by the presenters to ensure each event is fully and properly recognized. Events like this winter and spring concerts were not just performance marks, but also an opportunity to try things some of us have never done before like successfully performing in front of a large audience. The teamwork and enthusiasm of the class of 2020 could also be seen in both my trades and my academics classes. Before my assessment, I saw people helping each other, answering questions, giving each other demonstrations, and reviewing things together. So not just a handful of us would succeed, but all of us would succeed together. None of this success came easily to us. All of us had to overcome challenges every step of the way. We've had to work different shifts to support our families. We've had challenges adapting to a totally new country without the family support systems we grew up with. We failed exams, projects, tests, and courses, even though we tried our best, and sometimes because we didn't. We've had personal stresses at home, and we've been stuck in crowded classes that made getting help and being heard much harder. And as I know from personal experience, we've been teased and bullied when we've made mistakes or because someone thought we were stupid. Yet, despite the challenges we have faced and continue to face, we are all here today because we succeeded in overcoming those challenges. We are all here tonight because we fought for ourselves and for each other, and we are now ready to move on to the next chapter of our lives. Commencement is the last time that the class of 2020 will be together virtually as one diverse and proud Central Tech family before we all go down our unique paths. So as we go bravely and boldly into the future, forging our own paths forward at a college, university, a workplace, or an apprenticeship, remember to strive, to seek, and not to yield. Congratulations, class of 2020.
describe everyone for history and social sciences and things. Congratulations to the CTS class of 2020. We missed you so much last semester and missed you so much in finishing up together. I wish you all the very, very best. As you all embrace your exciting futures, remember your past with us once in a while and then go forward. Follow your hearts and you will make everyone proud. Congratulations, everyone. All the best. What a year, but you did it to the grads of 2019-2020. I've coached some of you and watched my baby blues grow into young adults. I am so proud of everyone who graduates from Central Tech. The connections you make here will follow you, surprise you, and when you apply for a job, somebody knows somebody who went to Central Tech. Congratulations, everybody. I will miss you all. Hi, Central Tech graduates 2020. I know it's totally anticlimactic to be graduating this way virtually instead of watching each other in the auditorium walk across the stage and grab that diploma. But I also know that graduation is just one of the many milestones that you're going to reach in your lives. I hope Central Tech for you was a place where you felt safe, a place where you could be yourself, figure things out, get some direction for your future. I hope it was a place where you had many meaningful and memorable experiences. Be safe, be well, keep in touch. All the best. Hi, grads, it's Mr. Lambert. It was great working with so many of you on things involving design. Uh, best of luck with everything you do in the future. Grads, congratulations. I'm so proud of all of you, especially, of course, those that I've taught in our accounting classes and all of our ELLs who've worked really hard to learn English as well as all the subjects that you did. Best of luck in what you're doing now and what you're gonna do in the next few years. Great to the graduating class of 2019, I guess. Okay, all the best okay, and have a great life. Hi grads, miss you. You guys were amazing. We're so proud of you here at Central Tech. And remember guys, behind every cloud, I just want to say thank you and congratulations. When I look back at this graduating class, I think about all the great times we had together, all of it without masks on, which seems like a tremendous luxury right now. And I want to congratulate you again on managing to graduate during the circumstances that you did, and I hope you're all doing very well, and I miss not seeing you at commencement this November. So this is it. Take care. I'll see you when this is over, hopefully. Goodbye. Congratulations, grads of CTS 2020. You're all gonna miss me when you're gone. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna miss you all. Congratulations, good luck in your future. Congratulations, grads, from Mr. Waldy. Um, hope you guys are doing well in whatever you're choosing to do now that you're out of Central Tech. Um, I know this year has been a little bit crazy, so um, I hope you're all figuring out what you want to do with yourselves, whether it's college, university, trades, in the work field, whatever it is. Regardless, just remember that Toronto is just a drop in the bucket. There's lots to see outside in the world, so make sure you do your best to see it. Anyways, congratulations, and don't forget to come back and visit and say hi. Hello, CTS graduates. Greetings from Ms. Naka. I know that this year's commencement might not be what you'd hope for, but I wanna take this opportunity to congratulate each one of you for your achievement. Whether you are now in an apprenticeship, college, university, or the workplace, I wish you the very best of luck in all your future pursuits. Hey, uh, class of 2021, uh, congratulations. Your, your long road has ended and you get to go on to another stage of your life. So good on you, congratulations, and good luck. Hello grads of 2020. I just wanted to wish you all of the best and I know it was a very difficult year and it continues to be a difficult year, but I know that you'll be able to uh, get through it and I wish you all of the best and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi class of 2020. Uh, I'm sorry that we have to say congratulations in this way with this on, um, but I uh, admire that you got through uh, the spring in lockdown, you still graduated. 
I think that says a lot about your character and your perseverance. And, and believe it or not, that's what will serve you best as you move forward. Um, I, uh, I also think that this is a very sad way to end your high school career for most of you um, and not having your prom and a proper commencement. Uh, however, you will remember <laughs> this graduating year forever uh, and will remember your class forever as the one that made it through the, the pandemic and still graduated. So congratulations. Um, we love it when, when alumni come back and say hi and let us know how they're doing. So please stay in touch. And um, I just want to congratulate you. And I think, you know, the fact that you've gotten through this in this pandemic is remarkable. And I salute you and congratulate you and wish you all the best in the future. UPS forever.